be honest, I know what we're doing now is like looking into it, but like, none of us thought that much into it. I didn't make the song to be mine to sing. He'd already said everything he wanted to say for that moment on his record. We went in there just to write a song. If we went into the session writing a song for Ed Sheeran, I don't think we'd ever have recorded Shape of You. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. I'm coming now, follow my lead. I'm coming now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. It was the first day I'd ever been in with Steve. The first, literally the first thing he did was he walked over to a keyboard and played I was kind of like, well, yeah, that's, that's a good start. The log drum that we use, it was the first sound that I found. And it just felt like a world sound. Ed started doing that thing on the guitar that he does. And then like it. I honestly believe it's because Ed is so impatient that he can't wait for me to get a drum sound up. So he goes out and he says, look, I'll just do it on the guitar. So he was doing that in the studio, and Steve said, can we get that on the loop? Straight away, he goes, give me, a, give me a clean track, and he just starts layering over the top. This is 15 minutes into meeting him, you know, and we're, we're away, we're off. The easiest thing with this, this key would be to go with it. Like on the rhythm. Ed goes completely against that. He's almost the percussion with it. So. Love isn't the best place to find the lovers of the bar is where I And that keeps the pace up. I'm always a fan of keeping it more stripped because I'm 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 an acoustic artist first and foremost. And when I play live, I can't replicate all these things. I haven't got any other musicians. So you don't need anything else because that's the percussion. That's Ed. Ed is the instrument. When we came, we let the story begin. We're going out on our first day. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat. Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate. Johnny's like my, my main guy that I, I work with. Me and him together on our own have probably written two, 300 songs. His attention span can be fairly low. One of the things I did to try and keep him in the room while I would be working on a track, I would have like a suitcase full of Lego, I'd pull into the hotel room and say, there you go, you build that. And it was great because he would sit and build the Lego and kind of get lost in, the, in that world for a second and then come up with this, this moment that was everything. Because as we were writing it, I, I kind of knew I wanted it to be like a really sort of R&B type feel. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if like, we put like an interpolation of no scrubs in it. So the, um, the bit that went, girl, you know I want your love, originally was, girl, you know I want your love. There were some moments that I found on, on the, the Shape of You tapes which, which were really interesting. So that's, that's a perfect example of how Ed, it starts off as a just a, sh a noise. And then you hear that moment where he discovers it should be come on, he's inviting this person in he has in his mind, this is how I want the song to sound, this is what I want to talk about. Originally, I think we were talking about it maybe being in my T-shirt smells like you. And he was like, no, no, it's got to be my bed sheets. It's bed sheets smell of you. And I remember thinking, oh, God, no, not bed sheets. On the original version, it doesn't actually say I'm in love with the shape of you. Uh, it only says that at the beginning bit. Last night you were in my room. Now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body. See, like a weird thing in there, that's pretty odd. I'm in love with your body, on, on its own, felt objectifying to me. Yeah, he's got, he's got a like, really warm heart. Do you, like, do you not like, um, I'm in love with your body? I do, it's just, it's... it's... I'm in love with your body. I mean, I say, I'm, 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 I just always, like, if we could just push, push it so it's yeah, one yeah, more thing. Where I come from, there's this phrase, they say, look at the shape of you, and that means, you know, look at the way you've showed up. Do I know what the shape of you? But I don't know what that is true. It's, but it is more, uh, I yeah. can't, I'm in love with you. You're not just 
just the body. It is more than your body. You, you are more than your body. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm in love with the shape yeah, of you. I'm in love with the way you move. It's, but it's more it, than just but it's mo the shape. But it's not just the shape of you. This song is just one loop the whole way through. It's a very monotonous thing, so when you've got that for the whole song, the only thing you can do are light, light and shade bits. So once you've heard the first 10 seconds, there's no more learning to be done when it comes to the hook. Then everything else is a surprise. It's so minimal that every time something new does come in, it's, um, you, you, you hear it. Stop it, and the man on the jukebox, and then we start to dance, and now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Lay it up some more vocals, some of these guitars. One of the things that we added was the Mellotron. It just added a little colour to it for me. Just a little bass drum, just to give it some weight. We got a little 16 clap going. Then we added a little rim. And it's kind of the only thing that's sort of slightly off the beat, you know. So it feels like it's moving, it's moving on all the time. You're not getting bored. Every time you start getting bored of it, something new comes in or something drops out. It kind of builds and builds and builds and then drops and builds and builds and builds and then drops. And then at the end, it has a moment, which I quite like. Come on, be my baby, come on. Come on, be my baby, come on. I'm in love with the shape of you. You push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. You don't really notice it happening, but it's happening underneath. And you just get this feeling of tension, release, tension, release. Shape of you. We moved on to another song. We've actually got a cut with um, Faith Hill and Tim McGraw that we wrote the same day. And then we did another one after that. We wrote a bunch that day. Oh, the Liam Payne one as well. And that was when at the end of the third song, he said, go back and can you play me the first tune again? We thought it might be a duet. And the duet would be that the girl sings one verse and that the guy sings another verse. When I was like, this sounds like Rudimental should do it with Rihanna. He said, I don't think this is for me. I was off to the studio where my record label head was. I played it and then he was just kind of looking at me like, why are you wanting to give this away? I don't really know what, what, what it means to choose a hit. I just like writing songs. It's not rocket science. You know, it's much, much more complicated. Kind of the best hour and a half of my life. To follow a trend is, is, a, is a common thing in pop, and it's something that I've always tried to not do, but I was wrong this time, man. It's one of the biggest songs of my career. Shape of you. Cool.